All right, today we'll be talking about the altitudes and medians of triangles, okay? Altitudes and medians are more segments inside of triangles that don't have really any kind of specific bisecting abilities of the opposite side, but they do have some pretty cool stuff, okay? First off, let's start with median. Now, median, let's go with red, okay? We'll start with this triangle. Median goes from the opposite midpoint to the vertex, the opposite vertex. So there's one median, okay, and that just means that these two are cut into equal pieces. It doesn't say anything about the angle right here, okay, this one, same thing. Okay, these two are cut into equal pieces. So this is some pretty cool stuff that you're able to work with. And then these two are also cut into equal pieces. So, you know, some pretty easy stuff. Medians, that's the easy part of it. Okay, now the hard part, okay, the next hard part is just worrying about all the sides. Okay, now here's some cool properties of this. So we are talking about the medians, okay, and the, the uh, point of concurrency as to which all these occur, this is called the orthocenter. And for those of you guys looking at our vocab, you're probably already going, oh, a centroid is the point of concurrency for an altitude. Great, but you're going a little bit too fast. Watch what I'm going to do here. Okay, here's some really cool things. All right. Uh, this actually splits it up into some really cool parts. It does something with the segments inside. So what we are going to do... Uh, is we are going to actually look at the relationships between AO and OF. And in actuality, AO equals 2 times OF. And same thing for the others. Uh, BO, and I'm not just talking about body odor, BO equals 2 times OE. Yep, that's OE. All right, and CO is equal to 2 times OD. Okay, so basically what that's saying is, is that this segment is twice as long as this, and then vice versa for BO and OE and CO and OE. Okay, so all those relationships do exist. Now you can also reverse that and say uh, OF is equal to half of AO, uh, OE is equal to half of BO and OD is equal to half of CO. Either way, as long as you're given kind of a measurement here, so if this was like 12, this would be 6. You know, if this was 5, this would be 10, and if this was 20, this would be 10. You know, you just quickly do some quick math on there for the medians in the orthocenter. Alright, now the altitudes, what you're going to do is yeah, let's go purple. Yeah, purple. I feel like purple today. Is you're going to go from one side to the opposite side. You're going to go from one vertex to the opposite side and just make a right angle. Okay, and there's tons of great applications for why this works this way. So, okay. Now, obviously, if this if this is altitudes. Oops, still have caps lock on. Altitudes. Okay, this point of concurrency in the middle is going to be called a centroid. Now the cool thing about the centroid, it is the balance point of the triangle. Okay. All right. So, I mean basically if you can find if you can take three altitudes of a triangle and then find their uh, centroid, you can actually take this triangle and balance it on a pencil point or anything you want. And you know what I just realized? I just realized that I mixed up the names. <laughs> and this is why I always get them screwed up. Okay, altitudes, whoop, shoot. Medians have centroids as the balance point of it 
and ortho centers are the center points of altitudes. Okay, so there's some really cool stuff that you can work with medians and centroids. I just screwed up the two points of concurrency. And it also makes sense because if you're drawing an altitude, you could actually get an altitude to be on the triangle in a right triangle, and that's not really a balance point for a triangle, and it would be outside. Okay, but other than for the little mishap of screwing up the centroid in the ortho center. That's we ha that's what information we have for medians and altitudes. So remember, take your time with it. When you're drawing the medians or working with medians, just remember that the longer part is twice as long as the shorter part. And you'll always you always know which one is which. Okay? Alright, thank you guys very much and have a great day. Bye.